here we go. So we found this fire duck today. Look, well, I say we found it. It's been here for a while, to be honest, and it's about 20 miles somewhere else. So we're the other side of Corby in Northamptonshire. Oh God, I hate going. Oh, oh. oh God, I can't do off-roading shit. I'm in the wrong mode. I'm in dynamic mode. You're supposed to stand up and not to go through a field. I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, we stayed. At, we stopped off of here because I've, I've seen it on the internet, this thing, and people taking pictures near it, and I thought, I've never actually seen this viaduct. So we're out and about on the, on the, uh, the, on the new bank holiday um, for the Queen, bless her. So we thought we'd, we'd come out for a bit. Everywhere's shut. Eh? Yeah, you'll be fine. I'll, I've got the camera on, so if you fall off, we'll do a good video. High-speed crash on Triumph Explorer. Now oh, that was a bit crap, wasn't it? Oh, 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 God! Oh, tarmac! Oh, yes, lovely. Are you changing? Okay. I can't believe you went in enduro mode to go across that fucking flat grass field. I let you go first. I know I've got sat nav on this thing, but I never know where I'm going. It's no good sat nav in this fire duct unless it says, it might say the fire duct in this BMW sat nav actually. Look, Rutland, real Rutland here, the smallest county in England apparently, from memory. Don't quote me on that one. And as I say, it's about 20 miles from my house, and I've never been here ever. Proper adventuring we are. So, so we're on the bank holiday, as I said, so um, it's the Queen's funeral today, bless her. I was going to watch it, but I haven't got a TV licence, that's another story, so obviously I'm not watching it. So, uh, there's no traffic. If there is traffic, there's going to be a car flying around this corner, but there isn't. Massive, isn't it? I'm going to have to uh, look at this. Harringworth. Harringworth Viaduct. I'm going to Google that later. Because I, I don't know the history behind it. And You get to a certain age and you kind of want to find out a bit of history about things. The curiosity kicks in. When I was younger, I, you know, you'd think, eh, whatever, mate. It's, a, it's like a bridge looking thing. Who really gives a damn? But now I'm older, you think, eh, might look like that. The wonders of Google, no books required, just typing skills. So I've stuck the drone up a little bit. It weren't the greatest spot, to be honest with you, and I'm, I'm still a bit crap with this drone. There's a few bikes up there, look. What's going on here then? Oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, I'm still a bit crap with this drone, and I can't seem to sync the uh, the remote control with the drone. So I kind of give up. It was working. I'm, I haven't used it for probably about two years. What's going on here? There's a lot of bikes around today. So I say, I haven't used that drone for probably about two years. And... What did I I had an iPhone 8 and I managed after much swearing and uh, many YouTube videos later I managed to sync everything and it worked and I, I didn't fly it that often to be honest so it takes it takes a bit getting used to flying it and the battery life is about 10 minutes and I've got two batteries so by the top oh gravel there by the time you get it up get it up missus and it's hovering, and you go, right, okay, how do you, oh, no, that's, that's up, oh, that's left, that's right, well, how do you spin it around, how do you turn the camera, you can alter the camera angle so you can see what's what, and, oh, how do you video, how do you take a picture, battery level low, oh, God, so it takes you a while to um, suss out how to do it, and then by the time you suss it out, the batteries are low, so you have to put it back in the box, because you've got to charge it at home, which takes like forever to charge two batteries. I know what you're saying, I could get more batteries, yeah, I realise that, but 
whatever. Um, hello, hello. And, uh, yeah, so that was on my iPhone 8. Speak your words out, man. And now I've got an iPhone 12, and I've used it since. So I'm trying to, like, sync everything again onto the new phone. Couldn't do... I managed to do the drone, and it connects to the phone, but I couldn't get the, the um, you know, the little uh, remote control, you know, with the little joysticky thing. I couldn't get that sync to it. You can fly it with your phone. It, your phone screen turns into, like, the, you know, the virtual joystick thing, so you can fly it with that. It's a little bit more awkward when you're not used to it. And... It hasn't got the range from your phone as what it would have with the aerial sticking out of the handset. So therefore, certain limitations um, kick in, apply. Hello. So anyway, I've, I've done a, a little bit, had a look at that viaduct. We're out and about. Um, we're going to the old... T oh, real, really? Look, I didn't realise... See, the amount of times I've been to this Two Flags calf. And I didn't realise that viaduct is literally within spitting distance of the calf. Just goes to show, doesn't it? What's on your doorstep. People like, oh there's a great lot of gravel here man. People travel across bloody Europe and the world and all that and then they don't explore literally what's on their doorstep. Literally. But th this is our, our favourite go-to calf. Two flags calf. I still like the old super sausage on the A5 near Toaster, Northamptonshire. That is an epic calf. Um, to be honest, it's a victim of its own success a little bit. It's that bloody busy there and it takes forever to get in, so you have to allow like a whole day. So if you're hungry, I wouldn't bother. Um, but this one, not quite as busy. Food's really good. More reasonably priced as well. So, uh, yeah, let's get in there and have a bit of scranage. Scranage! I didn't realise how near that vault. You can more or less see it from here, can't you? I was just saying to myself... I was just saying to myself... You were saying to yourself? Yeah, on this camera. How we keep coming here, and I've been wanting to go to that viaduct, but didn't know where it is, and it's literally there. Stand the breakfast again. That is standard, the standard breakfast, isn't it? Toast. Uh, where's the two flags sign over there? Two flags calf. With my old mate Sam, look. <laughs> Wellham Viaduct in Northamptonshire is apparently the longest viaduct that spans a valley anywhere in the UK. And it was constructed in 1878, according to Wikipedia, with a total amount of 30 million bricks used, and it cost a whopping £12,000 to construct. That's a lot of cash. 